everyone. I just got this Sojourner folio in the mail and I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing or unbagging as the case may be with you all now. Uh, this will be my first A5 size from Sojourner. I have a few others. I know you haven't really seen them yet, but you will at some point. Uh, and this is a limited edition leather. So I'm excited to open it up and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Little sticker there. All right, oh, that's pretty. So as you can see, we've gotten the, the typical card here that you always get, put that off to the side and a leather sample. This is probably the special brown leather, given its thinness and its pliability. Although I don't know, it could be, could be a different kind of leather entirely, I just don't know. It's very soft on the back. <laughs> okay, put that aside too. And then, um, oh goodness, I've forgotten what this is called, but I will make sure I figure that out and put the name and the link in the notes below and uh but this is a special edition and i it's in a really beautiful teal color and then it has this embossed teal pocket in the front that's really super pretty this teal is super smooth my favorite leather although i don't have a huge variety of leathers from sojourner my favorite leather is their roadrunner which has um, the ability to pick up scratches, but also look really cool when it picks up scratches. But this, I'm not sure if this would scratch. I'm scratching it just a little bit over here and I'm not seeing anything. It seems like it's gonna be a pretty durable, pretty durable leather. Although you do have some little interest lines there. And the stitching, is, it looks like it's a light gray. Yeah, I think that's a gray which goes really well. And so this has sort of a gold and teal, and this is really soft, soft leather. I was wondering how this would feel, whether it would feel really hard or not because of the embossing, but no, it's actually really super soft. Okay, let's see what it looks like inside. Okay, you can see the inside is that beautiful light teal color. And then we've got a folio pocket and then we have another folio pocket and three card slots inside that folio pocket. So I didn't get a band for this one. I, I wonder if I'll regret that. I think I might end up going through my folios that I have that don't have a band around and probably put a band on most of them, if not all of them. Just because um, I do tend to chunk up my folios a little bit and they do get a little, um, unruly I want to say so where they won't close all the way and and then that ends up bothering me so so we'll see I'll, I'll try it out first without a closure and then I'll see what I think oh and I just actually noticed that she actually almost perfectly mirrored this pattern here so you've got the little sun on either side here and then you've got this little twirl that's right in the middle and the, oh that's beautiful that the perfectionist in me is really enjoying that. Okay. Well, I, I have to figure out what I'm going to put in this. I had an A5 notebook that I was thinking about using for a particular purpose, and that's why I got this one, in addition to not having an A5 from Sojourner. And I figured I'd check it out and see. Okay. All right. Well, that's that. I will link to this below and feel free to like and or subscribe. It's just going to be a quick one today. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.